So in this video, we're using Tindicad on the iPad. And the purpose of this video is just to showcase how to actually use the different, the basic functions of Tindicad um, on the iPad and how they sort of differ from using the computer. The first part I'm gonna show you case is, is actually how you're moving the work plan around and what you can see. So I'm gonna use one finger. And as you can see, I can move things around, okay? I can use this um, little block up here but it's harder to use probably, oh, it's not that you can't, it's probably, it's, it, it is a little bit harder to use um, on the iPad than compared to on the computer. On the computer, it's really using a mouse, it's really useful. Here, not so much. I would just use my finger like I was just showing you then. Now, if you wanna pan across or up and down, two fingers, okay? I'm gonna go, oops, you gotta keep your fingers on the screen and like I just did then. That pans across, left and right. This one goes up and down. Okay, so I just want to get it back here for a sec. And if you want to zoom in and out, you're going to put two fingers on the screen and you're going to push them away, push them out like that. And that'll zoom into your shape. And if you want to zoom back in, keep, you know, you have your fingers there and you just pinch them back in. Okay, that's how you're going to do it. Um, much as with the PC, um, if I want to return to the original look at it, um, of the um, home, home part of the work plane, I'll just click on that one there and that'll return me there. Same as if I want to change a name, I can change the name there as well, okay? I'm not gonna worry about the name at the moment. Now, here's some things about how you can use it um, in terms of moving, say, shapes and that. One thing is just to showcase is you've got a bunch of shapes here. You've got text and numbers, characters, different connectors, um, got the basic shape. I'm just gonna use basic shapes for the moment, okay? Just wanted to show you that there are a range of different shapes you can use. Um, pre-made, but at the moment we're just sticking with this. All right, so I'm gonna um, move a box to start with. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can put your finger on the box and drag it across and you can see where it comes across and you let it go. That's pretty easy. You can also just push your finger on the um, on the, on the the box and put where, where you want to go and it will move across. So you can use either. I tend to probably do the drag across because I just like seeing where it's going but you can do either option, okay? And either option's just as easy. And if you wanna do, um, uh, redo, not redo, like go back and if you've made a mistake, you just click on the redo button and that'll take you back, okay? Um, work plane is very similar in a sense that I can drag it across and put it on a, say, work plane there, okay? That's on the side. What I can also do is press my finger on the work plane, go, oh, I want it there and it will put on that work plane. So as you can see, if I just use my finger again to um, move around, I, I'm on top, my work plane is now on top of this cube. So let's just return to here. Um, now, I put a work plane on there, and what I wanna do is I wanna put another shape on there. Um, so I might put, for example, a cylinder. I'm gonna drag a cylinder across, okay? So, and the key point of doing the work plane like that is it's, it means it's, um, it's flush on the flush on there. So it's, it's, it's like it's sticking to it. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you how to resize in a moment, but I want to do, do this part first and then I'll just quickly do, a, you know, how do you, how do you, how do you resize on the, um, on the iPad, on the Tinkat on the iPad and just some things to keep out, keep a, keep an eye out on. All right. So done that, which is good. You can see that I've only got one shape selected because it just says shape. Now, and that shape happens happens to be that cylinder. I actually want my cube as well. So I'm just gonna put my finger on the cube and you'll notice that there's the two shapes show up here, all right? It says shapes too, it means I've got two shapes selected. So that means if I want to, for example, group, that's the group tool up here, group tool, and that means my, my two shapes are grouped. So if I do want to resize and move, you know, I'll go to the more detail, they move together. Now, something to keep in mind, I'm just gonna re uh, redo, go okay, back. Now, something um, here, it, it's, it's interesting for you to know how to do is, I'm gonna um, ungroup for the moment, okay? I'm gonna, oh, actually, I could probably could do, I'm gonna group it again, sorry. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna click on this color. And what this color does is allows you to actually select um, either multicolor or transparent. I'm only gonna look at multicolor for the moment. All right, so I'm gonna go multicolor. 
and it returns it to its original color because you would not you would have noticed that when you grouped them they stayed the same color which is useful to know what's grouped but it's not useful if you want to do a design that you might want to put in a presentation and you want to have it different colors this allows you to have that multi-colored option okay now you'll notice that there's um this thing here and that's to make holes i'm not going to go through that in this session um it's just a it, it, it's more to just use as some of the key points of, of using this um tool okay so that's how you can get those shapes on there um now if i i'm going to ungroup and i'm going to just sh uh, press on that top shape as you can see i've selected this one shape now i'm actually going to delete it so i'm going to press on that so you can use your finger. i'm using my apple pen just so you can really see what i'm pointing at because sometimes my fingers are a bit too fat to actually do that well get rid of it oops i clicked on the wrong one so sorry I, let's redo that and i'll show you my mistake all right i'm going to take my work plane down here just so you can see it now my problem was and i made a mistake in you know i think i select i've got so i've got them both selected that's what it, how we had it before i pressed um the bottom one and that means now what's selected and i should have press that I want to get rid of the cylinder I should have put my finger on the cylinder and then then I when I delete it it will delete the cylinder not the I think I should get got that wrong again I put my actually I did uh let's quickly go through here um let's have both shapes sorry I put I unselected my cylinder and then I um then I press delete and that deletes the one underneath Whereas what I wanted to do was um, basically, in this case, having the two, I wanted to unselect um, the, the cube down the bottom and delete like that. Sorry, sorry to confuse the confusion there. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly do some resizing and that'll be it in this video. Now, you'll notice that there's some, let's return to here. Um, you'll notice that there's some white squares some black squares and there's this little cone shaped thing here okay the purpose of those are i'm going to show you what they are is the white allows you to change um, the dimensions of two of your sides so you're changing two dimensions as you can see i'm changing this dimension and this dimension as i move it okay oops and this is similar to what you're doing on a pc it's just i'm trying to show you some key things again you can you can do it manually you can sorry you use your finger to sort of do it like a double tap with your, your, your finger and you can change your dimensions so if i go 35 and that will change my dimensions I press ok oops cancel i think love it when it doesn't behave like you want it to okay so let's change changing those dimensions and the black it just changes one dimension all right so that's that, that key point there the what this is where you really need to be careful with your um on your ipad when you've got a finger when you're using your finger is you notice there's a dotted like a dotted line here that goes along there leading up to one of the white this white one here this white one here allows you to change sort of how high your shape is now the issue can be depending on basically your finger and how accurate you are if i try to do it i did it quite well there i can move it along but sometimes if you're um say oops, let's have a look here that white part is really close to the black i might get the black by accident and do that instead you want to avoid doing that if you can okay so what you can do is you can just change your orientation so your your white your white this one here is very um oops the white one here is very easy to change and clearly i'm not doing a very good job of that and that's where i move it up and down okay the other one is where you've got you want to the the, the um, cone shape the cone shape is basically lifting the shape up and down and sometimes you want to rearrange or move position reposition um what you're looking at to make it easier to do okay and that's it for this um short video well shortish video okay thank you